USA Radio News with Robin Walensky. In the headlines this hour, investigators looking into what's happened to disgraced money man Jeffrey Epstein, found injured in his jail cell in New York City. Epstein found on the floor with bruises on his neck. He's awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. It's unclear if he hurt himself or someone assaulted him. The U.S. Bureau of Prisons says Epstein, 66 years old, has been treated and remains in custody. Now, he's been locked up since July 6th when he's arrested on federal sex trafficking charges. On this vote, the yeas are 284 and the nays are 149. This bill is passed. In other news, the House approves a budget and debt limit deal. The measure lasts through the year 2021, which means after the next general election. For USA Radio News, I'm Robin Walensky. Taking a look now at your money. On Wall Street, a down session. The Dow losing almost 129 points to close at 27,140. The Nasdaq down almost 83 points. The S&P 500 down almost 16 points. Southwest Airlines facing some sobering news about those new 737s ahead of the super busy fourth quarter of the year, which includes the Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday travel season. USA Radio's John Clemens with the story. The Dallas Morning News reports Southwest will not be using the 737 MAX jets during the busy Christmas season. Southwest is also closing operations at Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey. As of November 3rd, the 737 MAX jets have been grounded since March 13th following two crashes in Indonesia and in Ethiopia that claimed 346 lives. No word as to how much Southwest will be seeking in damages from Boeing, its sole plane provider. This is USA Radio News. There's a new report out on how much chief executives earn compared to the people who work for them. USA Radio's Chris Barnes says it's no laughing matter. Show me the money! Equilar finds at least two dozen CEOs of major American companies make over a thousand times more than their average employee. Gap CEO Arthur Peck brought in more than 3,500 times the company's median worker's pay with a package worth nearly $21 million as compared to about 5800 for the median employee. McDonald's CEO Stephen Easterbrook's package $15.9 million last year, 2,100 times the median employee's earnings of 7400 Other companies whose CEOs earn thousands of times over their workers include Mattel, Williams-Sonoma, and Skechers. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes. And President Trump welcoming business leaders to the White House. USA Radio's Tim Berg with the story. President Trump is marking the one-year anniversary of the Pledge to America's Workers Program. The president says companies can train their workers more effectively than the government. The governments get into that and they really don't have a clue as to what they're doing and it costs a lot of money. The president also says the program has been a huge success. Companies have stepped up to the plate, and so many companies have done thousands and thousands of jobs. The president was joined at the event by First Daughter and White House advisor Ivanka Trump. For USA Radio News, I'm Tim Berg. For USA Radio News, I'm Robin Walensky.